All right, and this is Forbidden Island. So again, some of the pieces are complicated. So check out the kids review video on our YouTube channel and they'll kind of explain more. We're just gonna explain how to play here. And we'll start with novice. So first you want to mix up the tiles. Once that's done, you want to build your map. And you want to build it two on the top. Yeah, and just and we you spread them out. You don't put them too close because you have to be able to flip everything. Two followed by four. Followed by six, six, and then four, and then two. You're going to want to shuffle the flood cards. And then the red cards that I'm shuffling are the treasure cards. And we had them sorted out still from the review, so we're gonna shuffle them quite good. Actually, I'm gonna hand these over to Dad to finish shuffling those. And you just wanna put these One in each corner, doesn't really matter which corner they're in. And you want to pick a player. So each player has its special uh, power. So you can do it totally random. You want to pick random? Mm -hmm. Okay. So mum is blue, rider is green, lily is yellow, and dad is black. So place your starting person on the tile with your starting color. Okay, so before we start, every player gets two treasure cards. On the back of these cards that describe uh, your superpower, on the back of them walks you through the order of play. So, your you guys' treasure cards, you flip them over in front of you. This is a cooperative game, so we're not hiding our cards from anybody. If one of us had a Water Rises card dealt to us, we would have just put it back in the pile and taken a new one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take up to three actions. So what colors do we have? I'm going to move towards green, towards Ryder, because I kind of want to give him this treasure card. You can't see his because he's kind of off the screen here, but he has uh, another one of these, so I'm going to go ahead and move towards him. One, two, 
three. And the other, then the other option is he gives to you, just to consideration. He could. Yeah, next time he can give to me. Remember, this is a cooperative game, so you want to be able to talk to your people. <clears throat> Nobody wins this game. It's you all win or you all lose. So I've moved. I'm now going to draw two tre treasure cards. So one, you're giving to me next time, mm -hmm. right? I'm moving to two. Two. So I also got one of the lions. So remember, the goal is to collect four of the same of the treasures and then get to the tile, which is one of these here, that has the corresponding treasure on it to collect that treasure. So I already have two, so my team will start giving me the red cards. I can only have five in front of me though, so we have to be careful. So I do not have to discard. So now I'm going to draw the flood cards equal to the water level here, which is two. So you guys ready? Copper, Copper gate. gate, which rider is on, but it just got flooded. So the second is dunes of deception. So remember once they're flooded, only the diver can move through those tiles. All right, Ryder, it's your turn. Do your three actions. Give that to mom. One. Um, why don't you? Is there any way I can get to here? Probably not. Why don't you flip over one of these? Show it up. Show it up. I guess. One? Yeah. So that's two actions. Oh. And three. So remember, he can move diagonally because he's the explorer. So yeah. those are his three actions. Now he gets to pick up two treasure cards. Can I pass them to you? Yeah. So he picked up a helicopter lift. Oh, and a water rises. So when you flip over a water rises, it goes straight into the discard. The marker goes up by one. And the other thing that you do is you shuffle the flood discard pile. There's only two cards. So I'll make it like this. And they go on top. Now, if Dunes of Deception gets flipped over, that tile is gone. That's how you're gonna lose the game, is by these tiles actually disappearing on you. So we just gotta cross our fingers that no more water rises flip over until somebody can save it. Okay, so it's now Lily's turn. So th her three actions. Nope, that's three. And then I can give mine to you. Okay. I'm, <clears throat> can I'm coming to here? you. Two treasure. One, four, four, five. Okay. And then the two. Oh boy. Dunes of Deception. So it is gone. That tile is gone. You take out the card and the tile. Copper Gate goes back to flooding. Okay, Dad's turn. So he's going to take three actions. One. One. So they can trade only because they are on the same tile. You cannot trade with somebody the cards if you are not on the same tile. So that was one action. Uh, two. Three. Okay. He picks up two treasure cards, places them in front of him. The water level is still at two, so we'll flip over two. Fool's Landing. Temple of the Sun.
All right, so it's mom's turn, and I'm gonna take my three actions. So the first thing I'm gonna do is shore up that one, because I'm beside it, that's one. I'm going to use my sandbags to save Fool's Landing, because here's the deal. To finish the game, Fool's Landing needs to be here. You cannot lose this tile because you need to fly out from it to finish the game. So I'm going to save that one. That's super important. And my third action is I'm a pilot, so I'm going to fly to Lily so that on her next turn, she can give me my last red fire. Okay, and now I'm going to flip over water rise. So you move the notch up. You reshuffle. And two, helicopter. Okay. Oh, and now we have to do three flood tiles. Can you guys flip them over for me? Yeah. Temple of the Sun. Oh no, we lost it. Crown. Okay. So this is one of the treasures. We've let it go. We now have to make sure that the other, that this corresponds with, does not leave this game. Because if it leaves the game, game over. So it's this one here, Temple of the Moon. We cannot lose this tile. So that was one, two, Three. It's Ryder's turn now. Okay, so we're gonna, we paused here to show you Lily has six cards in her hand. So do I, but it's not my turn, so I'm not discarding right now. But because Lily has six cards in her hand, she has to discard one. So she's going to discard the fire because we already have four fires on the table. So we're good to go. <laughs> discard down to five here and then we're just going to shuffle and put them all back into play so remember the water rises cards are all back into play now we lost a lot of cards or a lot of tiles so we're kind of not in good shape here um, but Hopefully we win. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna pause it again because Lily is gonna use her navigator superpower to for her third action to move me to the Cave of Embers. So it's still Lily's turn, but she's moving me so that I can cash in for the treasure on my next turn and not have to worry about moving. And she's also. Okay, so it's Dad's turn and he's gonna kind of do a complicated move here so we're gonna explain it. So his three actions are... First move. One. Give to Lily. I'm the diver so I can go past uh, flooded and missing tiles and I'm gonna move all the way there as one turn. So that's... that's Action two, he went all the way because he's the diver for one action, so that's two. And my last action I'm going to trade in for, and I'm going to claim. We win that tie. 
or that treasure. Yay! So put the, your twin, the treasures that you win, push them to the side. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's kind of the cool thing about the diver is that you it's one action, but you get to go through through everybody. And again, that's why it's a cooperative game. Actually, it was Ryder that told Dad that he should do that, and, and Dad didn't even catch that one. And so it's kind of fun that you get to kind of help out each other because uh, you're all in this together. All right, so it's Mum's turn. And um, even though it's Mum's turn, Lily has the sandbags. So she's actually going to sandbag the Cave of Embers for me so that I don't have to do that with an action. So it's one. Two, and then I'm going to use my helicopter, or my pilot, because I'm a pilot, so I'm going to fly over there. That's three. to Fool's Landing because it was just me left trying to hand this in to get the treasure. So Lily used a helicopter to get here. Dad used his diver to go from here and over. Ryder was already there. So now my three actions are shore up. One, two, Never mind, Kate, cancel that. Because I was going to run out of um, actions here. So actually, Dad's going to sandbag Howling Gardens for me. One. Two. And my third is the pilot here. Okay, so now we're all here. Now we cannot leave the island. We are stranded on Fool's Landing until somebody gets a helicopter card. Here. That's how you end the game. So, there it is! And that's how we finish the game. We helicopter off, and we won the game. So, it's a little bit more complicated, but check out the other video, the review, and it'll kind of teach you the different cards. And there, this game is by Game Right. And they have other cooperative games too. Super fun. Um, keep playing games.